You see what I mean, Doc? It's, it's just like that nightmare I told you about. The one I keep having when I'm petting Bambi. You gotta help me, Doc. I'm losing my mind. I can't seem to take a joke anymore. I mean a choke. I mean... It's like the man in tonight's tale. He's a head shrinker who's about to undergo a little final analysis of his own in a paranoid parable I call the new arrival. Don't forget tomorrow, housewives, when our subject is sex with the supernatural. Is it possible? Is it cheating? Have you had it? And most important, honey, did the spirit move you? Call in tomorrow and tell us right here on Talk Radio 9 D09. Till then, Lofa loves you. Does your mother know you talk that way on the radio? I don't know. But the folks at Autotron sure do. You see my ratings that just came out in that book. I'm up 60%. No accounting for taste. You know, guess. I heard a rumor. They're gonna give me your time slot. Over my dead body. That works for me, daddy -o. Excuse me. Don't let him rattle you, Alan. I want you to concentrate on your show, okay? You're gonna be great today. Bonnie, do me a favor. Shut up. You're my producer, not my mother. Right. I'm sorry. It's 10.05 and time for Good Psychology with award-winning child psychologist, Dr. Alan Getz, author of the best-selling The Art of Ignoring Your Child. Dr. Getz, our first caller is a mother from Glenbury. I want to know where to get my three-year-old's hormones investigated. Every time I look at her, she's... Ma ma Oh, she's masturbating. Well, now, listen to me. All children rub their genitals for the pleasure it gives them. Probably you do, too. And there's nothing wrong with it. Ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Thanks for the call. Next, Bonnie. It's our friend from Lawndale, Dr. Getz. Nora? Hello, Dr. Getz. Hi. It's, uh, what, uh, four days since you last called, Nora? How's little Felicity getting along? Well, Burning the house down? Not at all. Riding on the wall with feces? No, of course trying not. Trying to electrocute the cat? She's taken to banging her head against the wall. Really hard. I tried reasoning with her, but that never works. Then I threatened to take away her favorite toy. She just started screaming and banging her head again. Hey, oh, get out of my chair. Screaming and banging her head. Do you hear yourself, Nora? Every time it's the same thing. Felicity did this. Felicity did that. Nice shoes, Rona. Snake. You're loads of laughs, Lutz Meyer. You know you should get a job in the radio. You don't need one after today. What's that supposed to mean? I know what you're probably. Oh no no no! Don't get too upset. I know I'm waiting. You'll have lots of company in the unemployment line. Rona, you can't do that. We have a contract. What? You want to sue us? Go ahead. Sue us. As of tomorrow, the spot belongs to Lothar. Dr. Getz? Hello? Are you there? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Sorry, what? But a lot of people count on Alan. They need him. Oh, come on. Nobody needs Alan. And after the ratings we got today, we don't need him either. I thought that if you could come out and see her, I'd be ever so grateful. See her? Why the hell should I come out and see her? I've got enough problems on my... See, look, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Now, oh, wait a minute. Uh, lady, are you aware that you are the epitome of the inept parent and that your little Felicity is the ultimate problem child? Does that mean you're not coming? Oh, on the contrary. I'm going to originate good psychology from your home every day until little Felicity is a fully functioning little girl. We're making a house call. You can't do that, Get. Good psychology beats bad behavior every time.
You're out of your depth, Gex. This lady needs a SWAT team, not some armchair radio shrink. I'm not an armchair shrink. Do you think a kid did all this damage? Oh, that or Colonel Gaddafi's been visiting, but it doesn't matter. There isn't a child in existence that I can't help. Good psychology beats bad behavior every time. Well, you better hope it beats rotten ratings instead, because the management is not pleased being held hostage like this. Rona, why don't you go home? I'd like to, except you can't be trusted. Oh, shit. Anyone got a pencil? Oh, what do you think? It's gonna bite you? Alan hates electricity, doesn't trust it. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense for someone who works on the radio. Jesus, of all the stupid... Ah! Alan, get out of the way! Ah! Dr. Getz, it's you! You're really here. Oh, did you get a shock from the buzzer? I'm sorry. I was tinkering with it a little while ago. I'm a very good tinkerer. Yeah? Well, how good a lawyer are you? Are you, uh, Nora? That's me, Felicity's mommy. Oh, hell, she's doing it again. Felicity? Felicity, please stop. Please stop for Mommy. Not in front of our guests, darling. <laughs> mommy has your favorite bubble gum. No, no, stop that. Are you rolling? No. Yes. Capitulation with a bribe always reinforces bad behavior. But if I don't, she'll hurt herself. The gum always works. But you don't understand. No, you don't understand. Now, listen to the thuds. Now she's picked the softest spot that makes the biggest amount of noise. The minimum amount of pain, bringing the biggest amount of attention. Now, repeat after me. Ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. You see, now she's learned that you won't always come when she calls. Bonnie, give me a book. Now, all you have to do is read this. In the art of ignoring your child, you'll find everything you want to know. And I'll even sign it for you. I already have it. My God, she must have every important child psychology book ever written. Mm, she's even got Max Spitzmacher's No Fault Discipline. He was a very smart man, but he was wrong. Please. What could you possibly know about it? I studied with the man. He was a giant in the field. He was the field. Who the hell are you to criticize him? Well, I'm a mother. And in my opinion, Max Spitzmacher was an overrated teacher with no real experience with problem children. Don't touch that. Sorry. Friends of yours? That's Felicity's daddy with his commanding officer. He'll be home from the war any day now. The war? Excuse me, but isn't that commanding officer General Douglas MacArthur? That's right. World War II, Douglas MacArthur? Nora, you know what would be very nice? A pot of coffee. Dr. Getz works a whole lot better when he's buzzed. All right. But you all wait right here. Well, what do you think? Oh, it's uncharted territory, but we could do a whole series from here. The ratings would go through the roof. God, you're as crazy as she is. She couldn't possibly have a little kid. I'll bet what's up there is a 40-year-old refugee from some institution. Oh, no, better yet, 
A milk carton kid that she kidnapped at the Safeway. This whole experiment is over. I'm calling the cops. Oh, the hell you will. The last thing I need is you running around with some crazy half-baked ideas about what you think is really going on here. <laughs> Still think I'm half-baked, do you? Maybe a look at the kid wouldn't be such a bad idea. Felicity? Felicity? doesn't seem to be covered in my book. Felicity! An electrified doorknob! Oh, shit! God, are you all right? Look, this is a big country. There are lots and lots of radio stations. Radio stations much better than this. What do you think, Rona? Rona, where is she? <gasps> oh, that poor child. What are you doing? So I don't get electrocuted. Holy shit.
woman's crazier than I thought. Don't you get it? We're not dealing with a real child, we're dealing with a fantasy child. <laughs> what do you mean? This collection of junk? This is Felicity. Spitzmarker and I once worked on a case where the mother actually dressed up in the clothes of the imaginary child. Nor is small enough to fit into a child's clothing. In fact, it's entirely possible that she's living a complete double life. <sighs> it's, it's amazing. It's simply amazing. Yes, a delusional matrix has taken years to build. Our audience will love taking it apart day by day. Listy? Oh, my God! What? What's the matter? Sure about good psychology beating bad behavior. We'll discuss this later. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Unlock this door right now, you miserable little monster. I can hear you out there. Nora, open the door. Open this goddamn door. Alan, look. What is it? Who's a psychologist, me or you? As soon as we get out of this house, you're fired. Oh, yeah, well, you won't have to fire me. I quit. I'm so god I'm tired of your arrogance. It's not my arrogance, it's your incompetence. Could you untie me, please? I don't think that would be such a good idea. I'm sorry about Felicity's behavior. I'm at my wit's end with her. Now you see why I need help. But now I think of it, there's a, there's a, there's a colleague of mine. I, if I could just call him. Dr. Getz, you promised you could help make Felicity better. Good psychology beats bad behavior, you said. Now, look here, you sick bitch. If you don't untie me now, I'm going to kick your fucking head. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I know you didn't. You've had a rough day. Shall I bring Felicity up? After all, she is the patient. Uh, yes, that's a good idea. A little bit of love therapy is definitely in order. Good. I'll go get her. Hi. 
electricity. Your mummy says you wanted to talk to me. She says you haven't been feeling very well lately. Is that true? Well, if you'd come over here, sit on my lap, I think maybe I could help you feel better. I think I could. I'd like to help you feel better. You know, Felicity, sometimes people want us to be what we aren't, and that makes us very angry. But I just want you to be little Felicity White. I love you just the way you are. Now, if you were to uh, untie my arm, I could give you a hug. Here's your love therapy. The only way to beat bad behavior is with worse behavior. Hey, Nora, I know it's you. Dr. Getz. Stop it. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, come to mommy, darling. I know what you're thinking. I spoiled her to death, and I suppose you're right. Amazing, ain't she? Been dead 40 years, and she's still busy as a bee. It's love that keeps her going, but it's love that hurts her, too. That's why you came. That's why they all came. Hey. didn't know what he was talking about. None of them did. Not Dr. Nasilski, Dr. Kassir, Dr. Pascal Lumiere. But I have faith in you, Dr. Getz. I know you can help us, me and my little Felicity. I guess you and Felicity should continue getting acquainted, so I'll leave you alone. I'll just turn the radio on. show is on. Talk radio, 999. It's 10 o'clock. A new time slot we own the city is Lothario. The management here decided to make a change yesterday. And aren't you glad we did? Ignore it. Today we're going to talk about sex. Ignore it. Time for Ignore it. Uh, call in. Ignore it. Elbow guns. You'll be happy to know that Dr. Getz did get another radio show, though he was much more careful this time about screaming his calls. <laughs> I'm feeling so much better. You were right, Doc. A little smotherly love was all I needed. So till next time, kiddies. I'm sending my shrink to join the others. You know what they say, the morgue, the merrier. <laughs> <laughs>